Hi everybody, Lisa Grimm with Mall of America. I'm here today with Elizabeth Berkeley. Hello, in our purple shoes. In our purple Check shoes. Out. Check Thank them out. You, you know what actually I should do is get yours, because when these start to kill, I'll just slip those on and I'll still look cool. Like and you. you're probably a size 10 like me too, or no? I'm not, you know what's weird? I should be a 10, that's normal for someone 5'10", yes. and I wear seven and a half. Weird. Interesting. Go figure. So, Jesse Spano, Saved by the Bell, was a huge fan, <laughs> still am, actually, we were reminiscing because I was watching an old episode the other day. Yeah. Huge fan. And now, were you watching because you knew I was coming, or admit that you're still obsessed? No, Ish. I'm still obsessed. Okay. Ish, actually. Okay. It was That's just okay. kind of a weird chance happening, so I was glad to see <laughs> it and, like, have that opportunity to reconnect with you via that no, before, that's cool. before that's our cool. conversation. It's kind of not fair, though, because now you know me at 15, and I don't know you at 15. So I feel like you should have brought a picture of yourself. I, we could maybe go out to coffee and I can okay. tell you about it. All right, we'll okay. go shoe shopping. In the yes! Mall. In the mall. <laughs> so we're here today though because Elizabeth is here to promote and sign copies of Ask Elizabeth, which I've had a chance to not read fully but scan through and absorb some of it, but it's a really, really cool compilation of your advice as well as expert advice. Yeah, and, and teen girls too, which is so cool. Because yes. Because their letters and wisdom um, their wisdom and stories on their own handwritten letters, so it's it's beautifully woven together, yeah, so that it's very organic, you know. Yeah, absolutely. And the really cool thing that that I took away from this was it's really cool if you were like, hey, I'm Elizabeth Berkeley, and here's my advice for my life and my experience. But the really cool fact that that I took away from this is over five years, you did like focus groups and studies with more than 30,000 girls to really get a handle on what kind of issues they're facing in adolescence. Yeah. Can you just share a little bit about that? Yeah. Um, well, what's interesting is the book was never something I had envisioned, so it wasn't like I did focus groups for a project. I initially started up five years ago completely grassroots, um, really just with an intention in my heart to be of service to girls, and I wanted to create something I think maybe I wished I had had. Um, I have great women in my life, so I have seen firsthand the power of like a girl or a woman having your back, you know, how important and special that is. And for a lot of girls, they don't have that, because I know, because my girlfriends were all at my house, you know, talking to my mom. And um, But, you know, we kept hearing, in these last few years, you hear about the problems with our girls in the media all the time, and I just thought, you know what? I'm kind of tired of hearing about the problems. I want to give them something, like an antidote to that problem, a place for them to connect with one another and help each other mm -hmm. and give them that forum and that space. So I never stand at a podium like telling girls how to run their lives. It, I don't speak at them, I speak with them. And so these five years, i have it was all through word of mouth. I traveled across the U.S. and I've worked with almost 40,000 girls now, sitting with them on their football fields, in their cafeterias, in their libraries, sharing this meaningful dialogue. And I noticed that there were there was this group of questions that got asked all the time. Like, can I show you some, one thing? Yeah, oh my gosh, um, absolutely. Like. Okay, let's start with the first one, because no girl goes unscathed in this area. <laughs> like, what do you do when you look in the mirror and you hate what you see? So, mm -hmm. see that little pink? It looks cute, but it's there's like a lot of pain underneath that. And I noticed that these little these little pieces of paper, I would collect them after the workshops and put them into categories. So, body image, goal setting, family, friendship, identity, all of that. And I noticed, wow, there's this pattern here. So I took the most asked questions, and, this, and girls were saying that they wanted a book. Yeah. I, I, it wasn't a part of it. I just thought, that's my volunteer work. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the workshops. So it was, it's all been very much about listening to them, what they need, what they want, and then I create it. That is so cool. And I just want to... It was a long answer, wasn't no, it? No, but it's <laughs> awesome. And it was like a monologue. But no, it, it's just the truth. There's, there's so many layers to it. Mm -hmm. And each thing really is in response to, you know, when we're sitting there cross-legged mm -hmm. talking and they're sharing with me, I, I take it in. And if they, they first wanted a website, I created the website. Now the book. Yeah. And it's really cool to hear you talk about that, too. And a lot of people might say, like, oh, I'm really, you know, I want to engage and I want to listen. But... The way that you've structured your book, and I don't know if the camera can see this, but it is really this compilation of true letters and yeah. scraps of paper. Why did you... And all handwritten. All it's handwritten. not like handwriting fonts from the computer. It, yeah. It's emotionally... Why did I want to do the yeah. handwriting? Yeah, so why did, you, why did you put the book together this way? I felt that just a really cool self-help book wasn't going to cut it, you know, and I felt like there wasn't anything in this category like it, so mm -hmm. I... I don't know, I, I always had the vision in terms of doing this that it had to feel, because it's not about me, it's about the, it's a community book, it's a group diary. And when I thought, I thought, wow, it's all of these different heartbeats, it's all of these different thoughts and everyone's stories and it's about the connection. So I thought, 
group diary. Yeah. And then I thought, okay, it has to feel like I wrote a book and passed it to you, and then you passed it to her, and you, and you, and you, and that everyone stapled, glued in, you know, did what they needed to do to put it in to help another. So that's why the design also, it's like visually girls today are so bombarded, you know, online. They're used to a certain visual language, so I wanted to give them something original and fresh and then mix it up with some nostalgic things. Because yeah. girls in this generation don't know their girlfriend's handwriting. Yeah. And a lot of the girls have been saying to me, they, they don't even know that because they've just grown up with digital, but they've actually said to me, like, you know, this girl at a signing the other day in Boston said to me um, that she felt all the different personalities because of the handwriting, which moved me because I think it, it resonates. Even the mistakes, the crossouts, the paper they chose. Yeah. You know, that is so cool. I know just from my experiences with mentoring young women, how oh, much do. that's amazing. How much I learned, yeah, in a, in a different capacity, but how much I learned, and I, yes. I'm sure we would be here for days. And I would love to. I'm having a ball with you. Yeah. Yeah. But what is one? Of, what is one of the things, or a few of the things that you've just have blown your mind about this experience? Well, exactly what you're saying. I mean, first of all, I commend you to. I mean, it's it's. It, but the truth is, it is. It's very humbling because here you have um, a desire to help and be mm -hmm. of service. I never profess to have all the answers, mm -hmm. but just to help out. And what is amazing about that kind of um, interaction and exchange is it ends up transforming you. Yeah. You know, in so many ways. I. I'm always truly humbled, I'm going to use that word again, and again maybe, <laughs> um, I'm, you know, by the level of truth and honesty these girls are willing to share to help. It's, it's, it blows me away. And so to me, that's why I, I want to give our girls more credit. They, if they are provided with a space to, and a platform to use their voice in, in a way that they know they have value, they will rise to that. But if we, if we look at them, um, and put this generation down and limit them, then of course, you know, you have people like that around you telling you you can't, why would you feel fearless, you know? So, I mean, I'm, I am always, the stories, the challenges they go through, you know, the, a lot of those are in the book, whether it's, you know, a girl who's lost her father and her brother in the grief loss section. How brave is that mm -hmm. to stand in her story, share it, show how she walked through the pain mm -hmm. and what she now takes away with her to honor their legacy. You know, that's just one tiny example. Um, it, it, it's endless, though. It's, it's moving. And uh, a girl can investigate and flip to whatever page she wants to at any given time. So if she wants to hear a personal story from my life, great. If she wants to hear a story from your life, mm -hmm. great. You know, yeah. I wish you were in here. Yeah, uh, book two. Um, <laughs> if she wants to hear from the expert, you know, this dream team of female doctors and therapists, then that's fine too. It's on any given day, whatever resonates. You know, whether she's gone through it or going to go through it, it it's there to arm her. You know, with with tools too, yeah. like yeah. their action steps, healing tools, all that good stuff. Because we can talk about it all we want, yeah. but what are you going to do about it? So that's a takeaway. This is cool. This is very very cool. This whole and, conversation. And, is cool. and it's a cool, it's a cool thing too. Like I wanted uh, one more thing. No, we're not great, done yet. Oh, okay. we're not done yet. But you yeah. asked a great question before, like why? Why yeah, did I wrap yeah. it in this? You know, and my husband and I designed it, so it was a very personal, um, and we had an incredible designer too, it's called Headcase Design, and we worked with them and collaborated in such a beautiful way. Mm -hmm. But it was really important for me to be hands-on, not just oh, yeah. someone on the 10th floor in a publishing yeah. house sending me, um, and I have, a, you know, Penguin is my publisher, and they were so open to the vision, so I, I got, I was blessed with that. Um, but, anyway, um, the, the tactile kind of feeling I, that adds to it kind of the, so cool. the personal kind of touch to it that yeah. I think is resonating on a certain level. And, and, the, and it, I, I'm not saying this to brag, but it just hit number two on New York Times bestseller list. Congratulations. Thank you. And I, you know, I didn't know with a book like this because the, there isn't one out there, mm -hmm. so it's not like you have a track record to know like, oh, this kind of a book does yeah. this. or you know, from a business standpoint for the publisher, mm -hmm. they took a risk on something new. Yeah. It's not your typical YA fiction or, so to have a self-help book but its own kind of category was something, I think we all took a leap together and it really moves me that girls are, are putting it in their hands, you know, mm -hmm. and, and um, that it's a cool book like, like if it was your 16th yeah. birthday that a girl feels, if the girls have been telling me they feel excited that they can buy it for a girl and it's cool. Yeah. You know, it's not something, oh, my mom got me this. You know? Yeah. And not just 16. I mean, I picked up this book, and it's, you know, the thing about being a young woman, 
is that we're just not trained to talk about our feelings or talk or be able to speak to them or things are weird or awkward or we pit one another against the yeah. other as women, as females. Yeah. And it's just very interesting. There are so many different issues and, um, you know, there, there are positive things, there are negative things that we go through, but there isn't a place to have answers. So the collaborative process, exactly. it's a unique process that works because very few people, it's not in our societal or cultural fabric to approach things these ways, right. this way. Right. And I right. think it's so cool. And it's important, I mean, I always tell the girls, be discerning about where you yeah. reveal and share in the spirit of this. It, we all were very clear on what the book was meant to do, yeah. you know, and and so um, so it's a dialogue across the pages, but it's it's yeah. in written form. Yeah, so. I'm looking forward to checking it out more. Thank you. One last question we yes. ask everybody is: Have you been to Mall of America before? This is my first time. Mall of America. Yes. <laughs> so is there anything? And I love it. I well, since I was a little kid, I grew up in Michigan, so I, you know, being a Midwesterner, you yes. hear about it. Here I am. It's kind of interesting that I'm back sharing something about like my adolescence and yeah. growing up and I get to come to the place I wanted to come. So it's I'm excited. Is there anything that you want to check out or that you've heard of or are you just uh, gonna take it all in? Maybe the roller coaster, I'm kinda curious. Yeah. I don't know. I'll have to take these earrings off. Um, yes, there are a few. Yeah. So yes. I don't know. There there I haven't had an Orange Julius in a long time. I'm kind of craving one. I'm sorry. Got to no, admit it. You're good. When I was little, I loved them. Um, so I'm just getting a little nostalgic for a minute, you know? Cool. And I might have to check out some cool stores, too. Awesome. So, yeah. Well, thank actually, you. Actually, Macy's is my um, my tour partner, oh. which has been incredible. Yes. And they've been at each stop along my tour, doing 10 cities, but I'm working with um, up to 2,000 girls per stop in schools, and they're donating the books to the girls and so cool. supporting girls' self-esteem. So I, I had never had a partner before, and I, you know, I was very protective. You know, I've been doing it strictly, yeah. kind of a, just as a volunteer and going into the schools. And when we spoke about it, I just, it was authentic. And, and that, for me, was really important. The girls are savvy, and I didn't want to bring anyone in that, that didn't have that same feeling, of course, with me. So. Anyway, it's great. They're, they can hold on to it. It's yes. Tangible. So much coolness happening yeah. in this room today at Mall of America today. <laughs> Ask Elizabeth. Check it out. Thank you so much. Thank you. It was so good to meet you. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Have a great day. Pick it up, guys. <laughs>